All right, good afternoon freelancers, javelin builders, we're back in Anthem guys and today we're going to talk about my Bulwark Colossus build. So in this build you will gain some armor back using your heavy assault launcher right here, using best defense upgraded shield artillery hitting an enemy with a rocket restore 35% armor if that is hitting only one enemy but if you hit multiple enemy of course that 35% will be more and then the second most important item here is of course your component demolition tribute which also gives your armor back increased colossal shield damage while sprinting 300% but the thing about it here is the melee hits when you kill an enemy one enemy restore 20% armor if you kill two that will be 40% and so on and just to make this component effective I added the blood loss right here uh, defeating enemy will gain you 75% melee boost damage for 10 seconds and of course your catalytic overdrive is always your basic component increased blast combo damage by 50% detonating a blast combo increased ability damage by 40% so when it says ability that's your gear damages guys and of course another boost damage right here is your shock treatment increase ordinance launcher damage by 5% taking damage increases all damage by 8% for 10 seconds stacking to 10 so that's additional 80% damage overall damage guys so this one is for your additional melee damage this one is for your gear damage this one is for your overall damage the shock treatment and we're adding another overall damage using symbiotic surge, increase javelin armor by a large amount, increase all damage by 50% when you pick up a repair pack. So all three of these, uh, blood loss, catalytic overdrive, and shock treatment should always be up and running in a 10 second duration. And of course this one is a situational, if you pick up your repair pack, this should also be up and running along with all the four of these together and of course my last one is my defensive components heavily reinforce the colossus armor shields break increased damage resistance by 40 percent my support gear of choice is my surging shield to give me shield and of course to make me more tougher 200 gear charges and my ordnance launcher is my Venom Storm, fires a value of 8 acidic rounds and the inscription here is 50 gear recharge and 100% gear charges so I really never run out of this uh, ordnance launcher. Of course my weapon of choice, I have a Jarus Rat right here as a primer and a melee also as a primer so I have my weapon as a primer and my melee as a primer and then my gear as a detonator but if you want to do a, a crowd control you can change this one to a, a voltaic dome and then change your melee into a, a earth shaker but i always want to suggest to keep your uh, best defense here to gain armor back and of course your component right here the demolition tribute so those are the two most important um, items that you can equip to gain armor back but of course my favorite uh, loadout is right here and with this all right let's give it a try guys uh, we're just gonna take some damage and we'll see how effective it is to gain some armor back we are in gm2 legendary contract and what i use as a sigil is my gear sigil armor sigil and my combo sigil so as you can see i'm taking some damage and you just fire your assault and there you go that's your 35% armor back right there and of course my melee will be right there as a 20% if the initial impact doesn't kill them the fire damage over time will kill them there you go and of course running out of armor just fire that there you go and for my ordnance launcher this is this one guys with 100 gear charge I really never run out of this I can just keep firing this all day as you can see on my uh, right bottom side it just never run out and then when I'm running out of armor oops I missed that one there you go as you can see on the left side guys all that damages trap treatment separated surge catalytic overdrive are all up and running including my bloodlust so all that boost guys
There you go. Get some armor back. Now we're gonna switch it to our Orion Launcher, Bolt Tech Dome, and of course Earth Shaker. Hopefully we don't die as I do this. And then you can just press the key it's charging. Let, let me charge it real quick. There's a lot of enemies here guys, and then you can just do a bolt tag. Oh it's too powerful. And then you just do that. As you can see the melee right there. And then Jar's Rod is a primer. You can do a bolt tag dome once you're down in melee. Shock treatment, symbiotic surge, cowlick cover drive again are all up and active. And they're always up and active for 10 seconds guys, so it's really a long duration when it comes to these uh, boost damages in this build. My bolt tag dome is too strong, even in GM3 just killing everything. Anyway guys, I'll end it right here, uh, thanks for watching, have a good day, and uh, bye bye guys.